Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February 25th through to March the 3rd. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. See what's going on for Libra. First up, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the Six of Wands in the reverse. And next, we have Major Arcana Tower reversed, followed then by the Seven of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have the King of Swords in the upright. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, your overall energy, Libra, you have that of the Six of Pentacles in the reverse position. The Six of Pentacles upright represents uh, fairness, balance, generosity, equality, um, equal work for equal pay, that kind of situation. Um, if you're waiting on a loan, that kind of thing, chances are you could be getting it. Now, when the card is inverted like this, this can represent uh, fairness and balance being removed from a situation. Now, it could be playing out differently uh, for all of you because it's just a general read, but for Overall, it looks like in some area of your life, for some of you, this could be a relationship, this could be representing work situation or what have you. A six of Pentacles can revert back to the Five of Pentacles, which is feeling left out in the cold in, a, in some situation, feeling like things are not fair and balanced. It can also uh, point to some maybe financial difficulties, finances aren't where you want them to be. Uh, this could be a... Uh, 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 injustice or imbalance in finances uh, for some of you or at the, playing out at the workplace. This could be uh, in a relationship. Again, like I said, it's general, so it's going to play out differently for all of you. But it's like there's a, a balance that was in something and it's a uh, situation has gone out of balance now. Now coming right off the hop, we have the Six of Wands in the reverse position. Six of Wands upright, this represents a lot of attention being bestowed upon us. This is the victory card, moving straight forward towards victory. When the card is inverted like this, there was a lack of victory in a situation or maybe a lack of attention coming from a certain person or a certain situation that maybe we had some expectations attached to. And uh, there is a lack of victory in it. Could be putting us in a situation where we kind of feel like we're going back to the five of wands where there's competition again and we need to sort of uh, redo something or uh, re-enter. If some of you are dealing with a competitive situation, say, for example, maybe there was no victory, points back to the uh, um, five of wands, which is the card of competition, so you have to re-enter the competition, whether it's playing out in a relationship, in a situation where you're like technically competing uh, through sports or music music or what have you. It could be that there was a lack of victory there, but then you have to kind of go back to the drawing board and recompete again. It's paired up with Major Arcana, the tower in the reverse position. The tower uh, represents in the upright position something crumbling down. It can represent crumbling down our walls. It has various, various different meanings. For the most part, it can represent um, shocking news or sometimes uh, catastrophic events even. When the card is inverted like this, it usually represents we've sidestepped what could have been a difficult situation or a catastrophic situation. So the lack of victory here, maybe you don't even realize this, but it was a good thing because the lack of victory could have, um, if the, the card was in the upright, this could have been in the upright as well. And maybe that uh, particular uh, victory that you were hoping for could have led you to uh, not such a great place. This is avoiding or sidestepping a possible disastrous situation. So very, very interesting for the first part of the week. It definitely all makes sense here. Now moving towards the weekend, things change up a bit. We do have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright position. This is something we've been reevaluating. Could be a relationship that's been long standing, could be seven months, seven years, or what have you. And you're just sort of reevaluating it. For others of you, it could be reevaluating your financial situation or your work situation or whatever it is where this is playing out. But you're in heavy reevaluation mode. I've noticed that for Libras in the last few readings you guys I think are weeding out a lot of stuff and you're sort of coming to conclusions and you're realizing what needs to stay what needs to go that's what the reevaluation which I feel is very very healthy uh, to reevaluate situations and we're sort of seeing taking stock of you know what our next move should be 
And the last card you have up is the King of Swords in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, like yourself, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. It could be this person sort of comes in at the end of the week and the King of Swords speaks their truth. This person is also a representative of someone dealing with the legal system, could be representing a lawyer, um, a judge or a police officer somebody but this person is speaking on your behalf it could even be it's air energy your own self maybe speaking up on this situation and having clarity of thought and clarity of speech when you're communicating to someone else if there was unfairness and, and imbalance in a situation it could become the end of the week you speak up and you're going to be speaking uh, from logic and leaving emotion out of the situation so there could be clarity of thought or somebody coming around to have a clarifying conversation with you that sort of helps put everything in perspective and maybe helps you with the reevaluation uh, process so that is your reading libra i hope this helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise i will see you next week bye, -bye for now